So, here is a question from uh, Binay Raj and the question is sir in beta minus decay a proton is converted into a neutron no it is not beta minus decay it is uh, beta plus decay. Okay. So, a proton is converted into a neutron, but we all know that mass of neutron is slightly greater than the mass of proton then how is this possible. So, that is a question from Binay Raj. So, in uh, beta plus decay a you have a nucleus in which you have say z protons and some neutrons n neutrons and the total is a and then it decays into this is called beta plus decay. So, a proton is converted into neutron. So, you will have uh, another nucleus and this will become z minus 1 and this will, be, will become n plus 1 and then this remains capital A. So, one proton is uh, converted, so z becomes z minus 1 and one neutron is created, so it becomes this and then it is E minus E plus here and then you have a neutrino, that is the complete reaction. So, if we just look at that uh, proton only, you can write that proton has been converted into neutron plus this uh, positron and plus this neutrino. The charge should be conserved therefore, you have a plus charge here. So, you need a plus charge here neutron does not have a charge. So, it has to be positron and that is why it is called beta plus decay because there is a positive charge which is coming out. Now, true the mass of neutron is more than mass of proton and energetically this reaction itself is not possible. But then this is not an isolated proton which is being converted this proton is a part of a nucleus. So, there are many more protons and many more neutrons collectively we call them nucleons. So, all these nucleons help this proton to get converted because finally, when you ask what is the mass of this, mass of this is smaller than mass of this. So, although a neutron is converted into a uh, proton is converted into neutron, although neutron has a larger mass than the proton, but the mass of this whole nucleus is smaller than mass of this and how how is that done that is done by changing the kind of bonding or changing the energy states of individual protons and neutrons which are sitting in the nucleus. So, this entire nuclear energy is uh, reduced you know when you have free pro protons and neutrons and they make a nucleus then uh, the mass of that nucleus is less than the sum of the masses of all those constituent nucleons because of that binding. So, that binding the kind of binding which is here the kind of binding which is here are different and here the mass is further reduced and therefore, you have enough energy not only to compensate for this uh, increase in mass here to create this uh, positron and create this neutrino. So, this total energy is, is less than this total energy and therefore, you have some kinetic energy released. So, all these uh, particles which are there this also recoils this also recoils and these go in some directions. So, all that kinetic energy is also made available. Okay. So, although this isolated reaction cannot take place if you just put a proton it will not convert into neutron, but if you just put a neutron yes it will convert into this just put a neutron some 11 12 minutes of lifetime and this will be converted into this because mass here is less and mass here is more, but if you put a proton the proton will remain there it will not be converted into this, but if this proton is part of the nucleus possibly possibly it can convert. 